this is Scott, and this is the Hyper Report. Here are the quotes for various items. First, Deflation Monster has arrived. The world's grand experiment with debt has come to an end as it is now unraveling. From equity markets to oil, things are crashing. This is the beginning as people should prepare for market, political, and social unrest. The real canary in the coal mine is the fact that CNN is reassuring investors that the U.S. economy is in good shape. <laughs> Excuse me. Next, response to war on cash. The war on cash by the banking system is now forcing wealthy investors to seek alternative places to store their precious metals. As the broader markets continue to collapse as the Fed hints at negative interest rates, more of the wealthy will store their physical precious metals at third-party locations. Next, the new normal. $15 trillion of global stock market wealth has been wiped out since last June. So, as the stock market crashes another 390 points, Walmart will close 269 stores around the world, of which 154 are in the U.S. For Walmart to close stores, no matter what explanation put forth, this will be a big wake-up call for many. Next, 2007 and now. Between 2007 and now, the following has happened in America. 1. The total national debt more than doubled from $9.2 trillion to $18.9 trillion. 2. Household debt has increased back to its 2007 record of $14.1 trillion. 3. Business debt has grown from $10.1 trillion to $12.6 trillion. 4. The Fed's balance sheet has exploded from $880 billion to $4.5 trillion. Next, survival tips. Here are just a few of 70 tips to survive what is about to happen in America. 1. Keep at least some cash at home in case you are not able to access ATM machines during a major crisis. 2. Try to stock up on things that will make good barter items. 3. Always have the gas tanks in your vehicles at least halfway full. 4. Have a plan for fresh water in the event of a major emergency. Next, RoboShot robocalls. Imagine getting a robocall at 4 a.m. reminding you to get your flu shot. This is exactly what happened to 10,000 seniors in Massachusetts. Presumably, it was an accident. However, with the truth of the ineffectiveness of flu shots emitted by the CDC getting out, it is not likely. Finally, please prepare now for the escalating economic and social unrest. Good day.